Welcome back to Akron Summit's franchise. Following last week's win over the Baltimore Ravens, we did eke out the victory 24-21 to to improve to 1-1 one one on the season. And in this week's episode here, week three against the Carolina Panthers, we finally get to play our first home game at Rubber City Stadium in Akron, Ohio. Very excited to showcase the field to you guys. If you don't know, these Akron Summits are available on the Download Center as well as all 31 other teams that I made in the Team Builder. Go check out my SFL series if you're not familiar and up on those teams. Put a lot of hard work into them and they're pretty cool and excited to get to see the Rubber City Stadium today for the Akron Summits. Now, we also have to assign our regional focus scouts here. So we'll go ahead and go on into the region breakdown now, National Scout, of course, not ready to do that yet. I am focusing on quarterback, which I normally wouldn't do, but this is the class to do it. We got four quarterbacks projected to go in the first round. Quarterback is probably, I would say, our biggest position of need. So we got to know who's the best out of the bunch. So we'll revisit that when the time comes. West, we are going to be focusing on uh, defensive end. Still looking for someone to play uh, opposite side Max Crosby in our 4-3 scheme. Obviously, Crosby is a beast. We don't really have too much, you know, to back him up on the opposite side. So really want to be looking for, hopefully, our next star on the defensive line. In the central, no strengths here. So I suppose we'll just go with wide receiver. Never hurts to have another good, solid wide receiver behind Devontae Adams and our superstar uh, Dev wide receiver now Jacoby Myers Northeast we are going to be looking at the right tackle position here or I should just say offensive tackle in general still trying to sure up that O-line a little bit you know we got a couple pieces but it's not really in the best spot and then last but not least uh, here in the Southeast we are going to be looking at outside linebacker outside linebacker being other than quarterback honestly probably our biggest position of need uh, we don't really have really too much. I mean, I guess you could say Max Crosby is a linebacker, but in our scheme, he plays uh, he plays defensive end on the 4-3. And speaking of linebackers, we are still very early in the process, I know, but we have what appears to be a really, really good one here. Dorian Branch, speed rusher, so not necessarily a scheme fit in the 46 defense that we do run. <laughs> However, at 6'5", 252 pounds, we could potentially move him to defensive end. Don't love that he's 23, but if we get a look at his physicals, man, oh man, he looks really solid. Actually, he looks great to elite and great to good, I would say. Elite to great speed, great to good strength, great to good jumping. He can excel. He can change directions. We don't know much. We know he's got a pursuit, which is good for a linebacker. But just initial observation, Dorian Branch, he's projected to go top five. He could be the real deal. Bart Nobles here out of Florida State. He may fit the scheme a little bit better. He is a run stopper, 6'1", 249, and projected to go maybe in the second round, which might not be bad if we snag a quarterback in the first round. Maybe we don't make, you know, any crazy trades or wheeling and dealing. Maybe we just go linebacker in the second round. So it could fit. And he's got great to good speed, but elite to great acceleration. Yeah, I would say he's definitely a run stopper. And with Bart here, A play recognition is good. And B injury, really good. Because if you guys have been watching this series so far, you know injuries are a thing. Uh, but again, really early in the process. But we got four quarterbacks that we're going to have to be keeping our eyes on and seeing who's the best. And a couple linebackers that could potentially end up on this Akron Summits team couple rookies with some upgrades here our man jpj jackson powers johnson we will go agile that will make him a scheme fit always like to see that and we get plus two to pass block pretty nice and a couple other minor upgrades here jackson could be a very very good player he's already playing up to a 76 overall in his rookie year and Garner Minshew is going to need all the protection that he gets. So hopefully JPJ is up to the task. And also Tommy Eichenberg really haven't called his name too much so far this season. Uh, definitely a developmental player, the rookie out of Ohio State. And he needs to get a little bit better. I mean, he's okay in coverage. You know, that's kind of like his game. 
but uh, block shedding, I guess we could always try to get a little bit better there. We'll just go run stopper. That's already his archetype as it is. And we get a absolute boo-boo upgrade. He is playing up to a 75 now, so I guess that's good. Uh, should know his development trait pretty soon as well. But we are primed to take on the Carolina Panthers, arguably the worst team in the league. And with the win today and possibly a Chargers and Chiefs loss, we could take the division here early on in week three. And as I mentioned, we are at home as well at Rubber City Stadium. So if you guys are fired up for some more Summits franchise content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Remember, at 1,000 subscribers, I will do the NFL jersey giveaway. SFL Discord link in the description. Join it. Channel memberships. Join it. Tons of cool perks. We already got three members now. I will highlight them at the end of the video. But without further ado, guys, let's get on down to Akron, Ohio, the 3-3-0 and get ready for the game. There you go, look at Rubber City Stadium. No, not Brandon Gauden, not Charles Davis. Get off of my screen. Huh? We are trying to see these Akron Summits, and there are the jerseys with the 3-3-0 in the center. You love to see it, my hometown. And Rubber City Stadium, I don't know if you guys know, Rubber City, Akron was, is probably still, the rubber capital of the world. And for these Panthers today, we did not bring our rubbers because, no, actually, let me stop. I can't say that. Got to be mindful of my audience. Anyways, rubber aside, we are going to get the ball first and just uh, really hoping for a quick start. Our defense has been playing pretty serviceable. We have, ooh, nice uh, break there by Trey Tucker. Thought he was going to pop that thing free. But our defense has been playing serviceable. We haven't allowed any crazy, huge 40-point games like in my other SFL series and Garner Minshew also playing serviceable as well. Four touchdowns, three picks. Not happy about the three picks. We're in here in week three, and if we uh, continue on with this right here, we're going to be averaging over a pick a game, which is never a good thing. Now, starting off here, we'll put Devontae Adams on a streak. Highly doubt that we're going to test that press this early on, but I guess you never know. Maybe Amir Abdullah will have him become a blocker as well and just kind of see what happens yeah we're not gonna test that but we are gonna loft it out to jacoby myers our superstar development player he catches it in stride and it's gonna be a one play touchdown outrunning cornerback dane jackson how about that Minshew led that thing beautifully beautifully what was i saying quick start offense i wanted to see it there you go Jacoby Myers, if you don't know, earned a dev up in training camp, so he is a superstar. And the five-year man out of Pittsburgh, Dane Jackson, just did not have the speed to keep up with Jacoby. And how's about an open, not even just an opening drive touchdown, but an opening play touchdown. Extra point is up and good from Daniel Carlson. I will take as many of that as as many of those as the game wants to give me. One play, 69 yards. Very nice, might I add, and only took about 10 seconds. Now, the question is uh, defense. Defense is always the question mark for me when I play Madden. Never really have a tough time scoring points. And as I mentioned, if you watch my other series, SFL, we're two games in and both teams have scored over 40 points so far. Now, here comes Bryce Young. He did not play good on Sunday at all. Uh... There are no more excuses for Bryce, and he has no stats, so I'm thinking maybe he's injured. So perhaps we'll see 14-year pro Andy Dalton, or I don't know. Bryce Young is in there, but he has no stats. No, it is Dalton, so no Bryce Young today, okay? Uh, maybe that's a good thing for the Panthers, and that's going to be a target to Adam Thielen, who caught that thing. That was a difficult catch, but Andy Dalton... Been around the league for a long time, seen it all. Deep playoff runs with the Cincinnati Bengals back in the day. And does he have what it takes to make this Panthers team competitive today? We are going to send Robert Spillane on a blitz. Looking for mm -hmm. Dalton. Put your hands up, Nate Hobbs. And it's just back-to-back -back deep bomb touchdowns. Okay. All right. Buckle in, guys. Xavier Leggett. Uh, he was the man... To get it, the first round pick uh, out of South Carolina, the Gamecock. And Nick Hobbs <laughs> made a valiant effort, I suppose. But if this is a shoot, I mean, if you look at the Panthers down there, they are 2-0. They are 2-0 in this Madden verse. So 
if you win games, that means you're good. And if this turns into a shootout, that's not what I was expecting today against Carolina. But I suppose I'm here for it. All right, let's just slow things down a little bit here, guys. Okay, got to watch Derek Brown, superstar there on the D-line. And I did make running it inside with Madison our game plan focus. He had a big game last week against the Ravens as, I mean, not a big game, but better than he did in, in uh, week one. And he's able to pick up eight there on his first carry of the game. So we'll continue to go to him again. I, ooh, ooh, but... <laughs> They are uh, showing me something out there. We got press with Devontae Adams, and we got Jacoby Myers, who could be in a quick step drop and sling. Uh, we're going to give Adams a chance. Don't be picked. Should have bullet passed and led that thing to the left. I kind of lofted it up there, and it was good defense there by Xavier Woods. Okay, first little bit of adversity that we've seen so far in this game. I am hoping... That it's Trey Tucker on the RPO. We're going to go that way. Tucker makes a man miss. Cuts. Okay. And remember, Trey Tucker threw, I know, the first week only, right? He was leading the NFL in passing yards. Uh, not so much anymore, but still a very good player. And, if you know, he can have a big game. Jacoby Myers already had a long play touchdown. Devontae Adams had a big game last week. We can get some of these receivers involved here. You know, I would definitely... Definitely like to see that, but let's continue to go on the ground. So Madison, nice cut. Madison running with purpose in these last couple of games, trying to solidify himself as our long-term starter. And again, with a third and two, uh, thinking probably run with Madison may be a little dicey, but definitely going to run away from Derek Brown and just show me a little bit of a hole. Madison trying his darndest, man. Trying his darndest. And this is kind of no man's land here. We'll see what the coach wants us to do. I, I don't necessarily want to punt it, but we should. It's the smart thing to do. We should punt it. If we don't pick it up, we give the Panthers excellent field position. And that is not uh, the smartest thing to do. Nice punt there by A.J. Cole. We'll see if we can pin him deep. It's going to be inside the 20. Is it inside the 10? No, it is out at the 12. All right, no more of that nonsense, please. I'm going to have Richardson here uh, play zone coverage. Want to get him out of that curl flat. Going to use her up on Tyree Wilson and see where Andy Dalton decides to go. It's an underneath route there to C.J. Uzama, the longtime 10-year pro out of Auburn. And he had two touchdowns last week. So Andy Dalton, is he going to resurrect his career here in uh, this Madden NFL Simverse? I sure hope not. That would be highly embarrassing. If Max Crosby has anything to say about that, maybe he can let him know what this turf here at Rubber City Stadium tastes like. It don't taste like rubber. I can tell you that much. And it's Uzama again. All right, let's play good zone coverage here, boys. And also got to watch the uh, running back there on Dalton's Bruh. left. It's Uzama again. These tight ends in this game just seem to carve me up every time. Second and eight now. Andy Dalton coming out shotgun with Brooks to his right. And we got Max Crosby here. That's okay. Check it down to the flat. Nate Hobbs there to make the tackle. He was the one that got cooked on that big play earlier by Xavier Leggett. And now uh, the Panthers are coming out four wide receivers, so we can safely guess pass. We're going to also shade inside as well and just hope that we can maybe get to Dalton, give him a little bit of pressure. That would be nice, and there we go. Not really pressure, but just enough of it to get Dalton flustered and force the throwaway and also force the punt. So after two big monster drives by both teams, Kind of starting to cool down a little bit as now both teams are forced to punt on their second drive. Amir Abdullah will just let that thing bounce into the end zone for the touchback. New drive here. Minshew coming out empty. Got a couple option routes on the field. I feel like Myers or Abdullah, one of them would have to be open, right? It is Myers. So his second catch of the game, he is actually pushed forward on the play and picks up a first down. So good, good opening quarter here by Jacoby Myers. you love to see that. I don't want to. I was happy last week about... Devontae Adams' performance, but he's our star receiver. Teams are going to be game planning for that, so you always want to have some of your lesser guys, so to speak, step up and pick up some of the slack. And speaking of picking up some of the slack, another nice gain of five from Madison. I need Amir Abdullah to block here because 
one of these uh, levels concept uh, passes here. She'll get open. It's Trey Tucker and just enough kind of horse calorie tackled there, uh, but it was enough for the first down. And that should bring us to the end of what started out to be an exciting for first quarter, but now kind of fizzling out. And I guess we uh, just don't get stats anymore. I don't like that at all. They should show you the pass yards and the rush yards and, you know, the amount of pass plays, the amount of rush plays. I like seeing Coach Smalls get hyped up there on the sideline. Don't get me wrong. But, like, why would why would you take that out? Why would that be a feature? Why would you remove end-of-quarter stats? Like, to me, that doesn't make a lick of sense. But, anyways, I digress. First down here coming out single back, and this should be – oh, no, it's going to be picked – nearly picked there by Shaq Thompson dodged a bullet I thought we could squeeze it in there to Myers that was not the case I'll tell you what we came out run however I think that this is gonna be we're gonna audible to TE attack and this might be Devontae Adams instantly with a good lead pass there we go all right I know you like the play recognition there Devontae Adams wisely falls to the turf because a big hit was definitely coming but, I mean, Minshew took about a step and a half. It was kind of a low throw. Wasn't even really the greatest of throws. But helps having a nice uh, safety blanket like Devontae Adams on your team because he's able to make adjustments. Kind of want to do the same thing to Trey Tucker. But, no, we'll stick with the run. I am going to double-team Derek Brown, though, because we are running it right at his side. Which They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Scares me. And I mean, even with the double team, it was an insta shed by Derek Brown, stopping us in the backfield for a loss of two. Ball is at the 40 here. And I look at the stadium, man. I'm feeling it. Got the three three O's there on, uh, on, the, on the middle, you know, the sides or whatever. Akron Summit's logo in the middle. Coming out with some meshes here. And that's going to be Harrison Bryant, who's getting a lot more action because we do not have our tight end and our two really starting tight ends, uh, Michael Mayer and also Brock Bowers out. And I did actually forgot to show you guys this uh, pregame. Not that it really matters too much, but still, I did bring in a longtime vet, Mercedes Lewis, to be our tight end, but really our fullback. We do run some sets out of the eye. And also run some 13 personnel, as you saw there on that last play that picked up the first down. But Mercedes Lewis, he is regarded as one of, if not the best blocking tight end in the game. And then I also added a seven-year vet Alexander Johnson to play alongside of Divine Diablo. We do also run some 3-4 sets as well. Some Band-Aid, you know, Band-Aid pickups. Nothing that's going to really be a game changer. You know, these guys aren't going to be vying for offensive and defensive player of the year or anything like that but it still helps to have a little bit more depth and i do like uh definitely the uh mercedes lewis pickup i also like the trey tucker pickup of the football there stopped by xavier woods who is on my team in the sfl the tuscaloosa terminators go again go check out that series if you haven't already xavier woods is my starting safety in that league uh but here and as i mentioned mercedes lewis now in the field uh, on the field here in the eye we're going to do play action, and this could be, nah, I was looking for Jacoby Myers, but safe check down, safe completion there to Harrison Bryant. We are moving. This is a long drive, too, as we're now at the 16-yard line. Test the outside here with Madison. Maybe not a good idea to be running it towards Derrick Brown, and yeah, go with your gut on that. Uh, probably won't be running the ball outside too much, at least not in this first half. I really don't like to go against the game plan when it comes to running because the blocking worsens on the opposite one that you choose. So obviously that would be outside run. T wants to get open here though. Probably looking, we're going to go to Adams and oh, he did break the tackle. I was going to say, that's what I was hoping for him to do because he really wasn't open. Don't want to be settling for field goals. Devontae Adams, this could be. Oh, they could try to bait me. We got Zach Gentry on the drag as well. It's Adams. Bang. There we go. That was a dicey, dicey throw. And again, you saw I just kind of fell to the floor there. Barrel rolled at the end. But Devontae Adams picking up where he left off. Big game last week. Believe he had two touchdowns and a ton of yards through the air. And that's the second time that they showed outside shade and not really any linebacker help. So, you know, when I see that, it's that's always going to be my first my first uh, thought 
streak them, quick step, drop, and sling. As long as you lead the ball correctly, it's usually going to be a completion. All right, can we keep the good times rolling here? That is the question. Robert Spillane going to be guarding up on Uzama, and that's not a good idea. You do not want me usering the man coverage player on the guy that catches the ball. And uh, Uzama, kind of, he's, he's froze. God, he can't believe he has four catches either in the first half, just like me. So he's so shocked that he just froze in place there. So, yeah, probably going back to zone here, <laughs> not going to lie. Uh, really don't want Jack Jones there on the curl flat. Oh, I don't want him blitzing. No, no, no. Oh, God. I, I tried to <laughs> I tried to, uh, to audible him into a deep third there, and I accidentally pressed down. He was blitzing. Thank God that Dalton went to Adam Thielen, or that could have been disastrous. All right, Panthers moving to. Well, you sir up on Robert Spillane here. See if it's a give to the running back, which it is not. Is that Uzama again? I mean, gosh, dang, dude. Dalton has 164 yards, and like 163 of them are to CJ Uzama. So I guess I'm going to have to be having a defensive end or, you know, defensive lineman or someone kind of just uh, cheat out there and play a little semi-coverage, semi patrolling the field um adam thielen though is not about to be uncovered on this play so trayvon mary gonna be the man assignment there and uh jonathan brooks is stopped there for only a minimal gain of two multiple summits in there and now he's getting into it with somebody and also getting over to the bench so aside from uh, their second round pick out of texas they got chuba hubbard and they also got miles sanders still and it looks like Miles Sanders is going to be the guy to enter the game. Uh, Divine Diablo, hopefully if this is a run, we can get him back there. It is a run, and it's not Diablo, however, but it is Adam Butler, the defensive tackle out of Vanderbilt. And now we got the Panthers in a key, key third down. I'm going press with the Blitz. However, I am going to just have Robert Spillane cancel that nice defense by Jack Jones. Would have loved to see him turn his body around and make that pick. But I am not going to argue the alternative would have been six. So I'm much more happy with three. So nice defense. I'm a big Jack Jones fan. I feel like I've said that a few times now in these episodes. Uh, he's had some monster, monster game wrecking plays. Also had some lapses at times. But so far, I think he's played pretty good for us here in the franchise. Now, imagine if we don't get this, if we don't make this completion, I'm sure the Panthers would call a timeout. Trey Tucker I'm going to have him go deep. That might open up uh, Jacoby Myers or somebody, which is exactly what happens. Myers having a monster half and getting out of bounds, which maybe in hindsight I shouldn't have done. I don't think I really wanted the clock to stop. But how about the first half from Jacoby Myers, man? He is playing his tail off. They want me to pass it really bad. I'm not sure that running the ball wouldn't be a bad option here. I mean, probably you want to try to get the yards, so I, I guess I can... I can respect that. So we'll try to do just that. Bunch to the right. We got players in different routes there. And it is Trey Tucker going to pick up the first down. And I am in no rush to snap this ball now. I don't really like this play too much. I'm probably going to have tunnel vision on Myers. Actually, we're going to step up with Minshew. Look at Minshew mania with the wheels. I knew with only three down linemen there. Hey, Genevion Clowney. Yeah, look, look. That's right. Minshew, tell him. Throw the freaking flag toss the laundry on the field but I knew there with uh, only three down linemen that Minshew he's got I uh, will call it some baby wheels you know he's no he's no Lamar Jackson or anything like that but he's got some baby wheels and now we got 50 seconds in the ball game here and it is oh that is a terrible pass by me and that is going to be picked off their drive killer drive ender there by Jadeveon freaking clown Really? Ah, man. I tried to hit Jacoby Myers. That was the same route that we had earlier. He was open for a split second, but I imagine I waited too long. And we can't have Jadeveon Clowney out here getting picks, man. That's Is that Jadeveon Clowney? No. Yeah, it is. It is Jadeveon Clowney. Yeah, we can't have that. We can't have that. I mean, he's a good player, but he's not going to be the one getting interceptions for you. So how about a sack? Or something on Dalton. I mean, we nearly got to him. He'll check it down for only a gain of two to Deontay Johnson. And we could potentially get the ball back here. Really upset that I threw that pick. We had something going there on that drive. But that's going to happen when I'm behind the sticks. Tyree Wilson going to have him just kind of 
spy this part of the field. And oh, again, it's is that Jack Jones? No, that wasn't Jack Jones. I believe that was I'm not sure who that was. It wasn't Jack Jones, though. But I was about to say Jack Jones with another bat down. I'm going to need you to get some picks, my man. But at any rate, uh, maybe we'll do like a TE attack, right? I don't typically call my own plays, but that could be one to open up this drive with here and just kind of see what happens. If we get something big, great. If we don't, I'm content to go into the locker room up by four. And remember, it's all about the rollout in this situation. If we can get the rollout with Minshew, which we do. And you know what? I'm just going to run. Look at Minshew doing it himself. Gardner Minshew, two rushes for 34 yards. Not really uh, what I expected to happen on the TE attack, but it was good enough result for me. And with 18 seconds left, all three timeouts here, I don't really necessarily want to throw another pick, so let's just do screen to Abdullah, see if he gets open, see if he gets some yards. The blocking has to be there. It really wasn't, but at least he did get out of bounds. That's the thing, too. Like We got a good kicker in Daniel Carlson, so if, if we have to end up settling for a field goal, I'm okay with that, but we're going to at least try for more here, and uh, it's not there. So dangerous pass to Bryant. Thought that thing would get there a little bit quicker. And I suppose one more end zone shot wouldn't hurt. Uh, if anything, we you know we will be getting a little bit closer for a field goal. Can't take a sack, though. Right now we are in field goal range, and I would really, really like to keep it that way. Possibly, though, Harrison Bryant. Maybe he gets open just streaking down the field. We'll see. He's not gonna. So we'll just go ahead and give it to Zach Gentry. Who? Zach, you gotta go down, brother. Oh, hey. Calling the timeout with one second left. That one got a little risque, if I do say so myself. But that's okay. Mission accomplished here. We should be able to boot this uh, easy field goal here with Daniel Carlson, and yeah, go up one score and, a, and an extra point, seven point lead, going into the locker room, defense tightened up really for both sides because we had deep bombs from both offenses to start and really limited production, uh, especially from the Panthers, but even from us, you know, limited production ever since then. So I'm happy with how our defense played. Just gotta continue to keep that momentum up. We know second half comebacks are a thing. We know second half collapses are a thing for me. And that's just going to be the main thing. And this is an important game here. Chargers were trying to overtake them, and they are, unfortunately, going to improve to 2-1. Two and one. Justin Fields with 34 yards in an entire ball game. And I would say that's Madden logic, but that's actually probably just Justin Fields being Justin Fields. <laughs> Opening kick of the second half is up and fielded by the Panthers. Impressed with how our defense performed. Xavier will get there with the okay return, I guess, getting it close to the 30. But really just need the defense to keep up the same intensity. I did switch the game plan focus to defend the deep pass only because that's like the one area I feel like where Andy Dalton excelled, which is, I know, it's, <laughs> it's strange to say. Yes, this could be a run, though. I'm going to use her up. On Max Crosby, it is not going to be a run. It was nearly a sack on Dalton. Jordan Brooks back in the game, so he appears to be healthy, which is always good. You don't want to see injuries. Jordan Brooks has the potential to be something, but <laughs> being in Carolina, probably not doing him any favors. Now, Dalton has a fullback in here, so we're going to use her up on Divine Diablo. It is going to be an outside run, and oh, we had a chance to get... Uh, Jonathan Brooks there in the backfield and we were not able to do it so nice first down by Carolina yeah probably man coverage on Thielen is probably a good idea and gotta watch Uzama he's the motion man this could be his route as well and let's see if it is nope it's Thielen old man Thielen Trayvon Merrick luckily there I completely mistimed that with the DB I don't know what I did and then I guess I made him dive to the turf that's that's something that I do from time to time. All right, got to tighten up here. I did bring in the nickel to play some zone. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a run, though. We got another motion. This time it's Thielen. Spillane going to play some coverage. And again, nearly got to Dalton. We're getting this close to sacking him. But the veteran still has the savvy to sit back there in the pocket and deliver strikes. He did that. There was a time. Uh, many, Some of you watching this video may not even remember it, but there was a time 
where Andy Dalton, he was a guy. He was a dude. He took care of business. That time has long since passed, but apparently not here in uh, in this uh, Madden franchise. Fuck yeah! But love, absolutely love a pick here. I don't think that we've gotten one so far. I was trying to remember uh, when the SFL series we have a pick now, but I got a couple picks in the last episode I dropped in that one. Oh, Jack Jones, decent enough defense, and it's actually not going to be punched in by D or is it? Yeah, okay, I was about to say. I thought it was mere shades, but I couldn't remember if it was this series or that series that we didn't have a pick. I think it's this series. I'll have to check that. I don't think that we have an interception so far in this series, and, I mean, we got some good corners. We got Nate Hobbs. We got Jack Jones. We got DeCamry and Richardson, rookie out of Mississippi State. So we should have some, especially with Jones and Hobbs, you know, and even Merrick and Marcus Epps, guys like that, some bets back there. We're going to test the inside run. I did keep that as our focus because Madison showed some flashes, and that is also flash two, picking up nine. And even though Minshew played great, not taking anything away from his performance, aside from that pick, it is Garner Minshew. So any help from the running game that we could get would be ideal. And it appears that we might just be getting that with Alexander Madison as he does pick up a first down. Got to give Madison a blow here. He definitely earned it and bring in Amir Abdullah. I'm still trying to figure out. Nice run from Abdullah. I've loved his production so far. Still trying to figure out why we're not seeing Zamir White. I would imagine that Abdullah is our third down guy. Obviously, he's got to be our power guy as uh, he came in, you know, on that set. But we're yet to see Zamir White. And really, Abdullah has impressed, so I'm not really too upset about it. It's a motion over Zach Gentry here. He needs some extra help running it to Derek Brown's side. And we're just going to continue to go with the running game. Madison with the vision bounces it out again. And a gain of eight on the play. Look, if I don't have to hand this ball off, I mean, if I don't have to pass this ball one single time on this drive, I am totally fine with that. You cannot throw an interception if you don't pass the ball. Now, Abdullah or Madison could fumble it, and I would be highly upset if that happened. But right now, both backs are running good with power and picking up first down after first down. This might be time for a shot here. Running game is working. That usually opens up uh, room for play action, but we are just going to go ahead and take the intentional grounding. See, my theory was to not pass it. I mean, we had pressure. Like, if I would have tried to throw that... It would have been a fumble, a throw out a sack, a pick. We're going to at least give this thing a try here. Jacoby Myers has an option, and uh, we do got also Trey Tucker. Yeah, we'll just check it down to Trey Tucker. And Tucker actually, with the final effort, picks up a first down. How about this kid, man? How actually about this kid? A two-year pro out of Cincinnati, Ohio, so staying local here with these Akron Summits. He was not even supposed to get the first down. But he got pushed forward. He rolled over a defender. And just like that, our drive is still alive. And, yeah, I should probably go back to the running game. Although I don't want to go outside run, which is what the coach really wants me to do for some reason. I mean, come on, coach. You're the one that drew up the game plan here. Let's keep it to what we called Madison. Oh, did bounce it outside, but... Needed just a little bit more speed. He's now at 10 for 46. 13 personnel here, so there is Mercedes Lewis. I'll tell you what. I'm going to put Devontae Adams on a curl. And if I have time, maybe even custom stem this puppy to just be a little bit shorter. However, it wasn't there. So Zach Gentry catching it for a gain of one. I mean, again, could have been much, much worse. Coach is saying screen, and I kind of like that. So that is what we're going to rock with here. Third quarter is ticking down. We have to be dominating time of possession here. And if Madison can get some blockers, we could have something here. Madison. Well, we don't get a chance to see if Madison had blockers or not, because I don't know where the heck Minshew was going with that throw. Alexander had space out in front of him, too. So very unfortunate. And I got to uh, lock in and be careful with these kicks because you guys know how I am with kicks. That one should be good, though, right down the center. And, hey, we take the lead. Uh, Daniel Carlson able to put us up by three. Not really the outcome that I wanted, but staying up on the scoreboard, you know, maybe eventually our defense can make that ever-elusive interception or sack even. We haven't even sacked Dalton in this game. We got close a few times. 
But maybe our defense can make that big play that we really so desperately need. But even if Carolina does score, you know, we'll get the ball back with a chance to go right back up on that scoreboard. So not really too upset here. Uh, Max Crosby, we pay you a lot of money to get sacks. Right now, you're not. So can you? Please? Oh, come on, man. What what was that horse hockey? Jonathan Brooks should have got creamed there in the backfield. But instead, I, it was me. I, I definitely missed the tackle. I was coming in full speed with the turbo. And that will bring us to the end of the third. So don't go anywhere. 2017 on the scoreboard. Panthers... I guess are going to be driving here. Jacoby Myers has had a very good game. Uh, Madison, our running back, he hasn't had a good game stat wise, but that last drive, he really started to put it together, him and Amir Abdullah. So who knows what's going to happen in this fourth quarter, but it should be an exciting one. And I'm staying zone. I'm, I'm not going to man coverage uh, probably for a while. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay in zone coverage. Going to use her up on Epps here because no one is on this side of the field. So maybe he'll cheat, get a little bit. Nope, just going to be Xavier Leggett. But we do got the Panthers in a key, crucial third down. And I'm sending heat at Dalton. I don't care. It may not be the smartest thing to do, but we're going to do it. It's actually going to be a give to Jonathan Brooks, and he's not going to get it. Is he going to? Is the play going to end? <laughs> now, I don't think the Panthers would go for it here. They could. They definitely could. Putting the ball back to us in the fourth quarter. Chance to go up by 10. But they are on their own side of the field, so I... I I'm expecting us to see the punt unit or yeah okay I was about to say maybe not gotta watch for the fake though Johnny Hecker the longtime pro out of Oregon State gonna come in to boot this bad boy away Amir Abdullah back to receive it we're just gonna go ahead and let it bounce and we do get the touchback no sense in trying to return it maybe getting a fumble because yeah I would cry all right now's the time where we just want to burn that clock and if that run game I ah, should have kicked it to the outside maybe Amir Abdullah got stuffed, and now we're kind of forced to forced to go past, you know, where there's still way too much time for us to be worrying about running the ball, putting them. We got to get some first downs, what I'm trying to say here. So let's have Amir Abdullah block. Again, that is Derek Brown's side of the field. And just see who can get open here. We got Trey Tucker again, who's had a pretty big game, but couldn't catch it in stride, though. That's going to make it third and six. This is the one, boys. Really got to pick up this first down. I'm looking at the heavy, heavy levels here, and that should be Tucker. And you got to be kidding me. Come on, man. Josie Jewell, okay. I mean, he's pretty good. I'll give him that. But I'll admit Trey Tucker wasn't the most open. But that's no way that should have been a, a pick by Josie Jewell, man. I mean... Yeah, like, that's just, if anything, it should have been, like, a 50-50 ball batted down. And we give the ball. Oh, Bryce Young. Yeah, the injured guy who's not playing. Let's show him. Panthers got great field position. I'm a bonehead. That was a terrible pick that I should have never thrown. Minshew now at, what, five for the season? That's not good. You don't want to see that. And Dalton, come on, there's that sack that we needed. Thank you. It's Tyree Wilson. Drilling Dalton for a loss of 11. Took all game to, to get it, but hey, it comes at the most opportune time because the Panthers already were in field goal range because of that pick by me. And now we drop them back uh, pretty close to midfield. So I got to have just an extra defender here. They're going to send CJ Uzama in motion. I know this play. They ran it earlier. Is that going to be a run? No, it is not. Dalton, where is he going to go? Going to check it down underneath, and that's caught by... Uh, Deontay Johnson, former Pittsburgh Steeler. Not for much, though. And you got to figure they still are in range for the field goal here. So got to play good defense. I came out man, but we are audible in it to zone all day, every day. Adam, is this the same play? Are they just calling the same play over and over again? Well, I know where at least the routes are going to go. It's going to be Uzama, and we're going to be there to meet him. That will force the Panthers into a field goal, which you got to figure... Patterson will make and I mean what do I do on this next drive like <laughs> now I'm gun shot now I'm gun shot maybe we get a field goal block animation no we are not Patterson does drill it through 2020 vision on the scoreboard and I mean we can't punt the ball back to Carolina here obviously we would have to yes if that's what it uh what it came down to we got Mercedes Lewis in the backfield though interesting 
And we will throw it to Myers. Come on, Myers. Gave him a chance. What's the best play to, to draw up here? I mean, maybe uh, thought I saw, yeah, Texas route out of the backfield with Amir Abdullah. That could be that could be fun. That could be something. I feel like if it's not there, maybe we uh, we just give Adams a shot. Um, or maybe we give Harrison Bryan a shot and he catches it. That was my third progression. It was Abdullah, Adams, and then had to work back to Bryant. So I started in the middle, worked to the left, and worked to the right. Saw Bryant get open. That was not an easy catch either. Harrison Bryant, our third string tight end. Let's do RPO. Jacoby Myers could be a good option here. Let's also shift our line over to the left. I'm going to look for Myers first, but it's not there. Fine, so I'm content with the run. Madison with some speed and picking up a first down. He's now at 58, and that was a monster, monster gain to keep this drive moving. Now, Coach is saying PA cross. I haven't hit this play. Maybe I hit it to Harrison Bryant, but I want to hit a big shot to Jacoby Myers. That's what I'm ultimately going for. It's not there, so we will just go to Zach Gentry. And how about backup tight ends making a big, big impact in this game? Harrison Bryant, Zach Gentry, maybe. And you know what? Maybe it's Mercedes Lewis doing some blocking to help spring Madison in this second half you never know but the backup tight ends are coming up clutch and if nothing else now we are in field goal range you know I see the press on Adams I want to do it I got the devil on my shoulder but why why do it cut back for Madison right now the running game's working well enough we're not getting negative plays we're getting positive plays we're vastly approaching the two minute warning and why why do anything crazy like if anything I'm gonna go RPO pin alert bubble because maybe Trey Tucker is the read, but I mean, if not, like the last time we did this outside run, it worked out pretty well. We'll put a full slide to the right. Trey Tucker will still be the first read. That time he is open and Tucker going to catch it first down. And now we are just milk clock mode. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to do it. Milk clock mode. What? That's what we're in right now. Because we're in field goal range. I already switched up to ball carrier conservative. Come on, Alexander. Take us to the promised land. Oh, big hit. But look, he's still going. Do not fumble. I'd rather just have you go down, brother, if it comes down to that. I don't want you fumbling here in this situation. Carolina now going to use a timeout. But third and one, I mean, it's, it's Madison City. Although, do I want to go something inside zone? I mean, single back has been working. Right, we're coming in with our 13 personnel here, Mercedes Lewis, and you know what? We're actually gonna run it to that side because I do not want to run it towards Derek Brown and just need a hard-fought yard. Madison gonna get it. That should essentially seal up this ball game. We're gonna have to run a couple more plays, but we can pretty much just take this thing down to the end. If we punch it in, great. I mean, look, they want me to throw it to Adams too. Yeah, that ain't happening. That is not happening. Um, if we punch it in, great. But if not, should be able to kick the chip shot field goal. Get out of Akron with a dub. All right, Alexander, put a bow on this thing. You're not going to, but that is perfectly fine because we are going to let this thing tick all the way down to about the three-second mark. Kick the field goal and hopefully get out of here. Look, the Ravens game was close. This game was close. Even the first game that we played, I believe it was against the L.A. Chargers. That wasn't a blowout either. So we're competitive here in year number one, which I, you know, didn't necessarily expect. It's still early. We could lose the rest of our games all season. But so far, our defense is playing well enough. We're keeping the scoreboard pretty low for the opposition. And assuming I don't do something just absolutely insane and miss this field goal, we're going to get another hard-fought win. Kick is up and, ooh, <laughs> so that was a little too close for comfort. Uh, now there is one second, which... That shouldn't scare me, but if I'm being perfectly honest, it scares the ever-living daylights out of me. So uh, maybe, you know, I maybe should have squib kicked it, but whatever. It's fine. Either way, that ball is not going to go into the end zone. So just make a sure tackle, guys. Come on, and there you go. Akron Summits are going to get a three-point victory against what was the 2-0 Carolina Panthers. So regardless of their team, their roster, you know, Bryce Young not playing. They won both games, so we do hand them 
their first L of the season. And we do it in front of our home crowd here at Rubber City Stadium. Don't like the picks, though. That's where, you know, 286 from Minshew, 257 from Dalton, too. That's that's crazy. But maybe, you know, with a better quarterback, more accurate, maybe like that second pick to Josie Jewell, maybe that's not a pick. Maybe it is still, but he's playing good, you know, just too many picks. Madison had a good game, 17 for 77, averaged 4.5 yards per carry. Jonathan Brooks didn't really do too much, but in fairness, they weren't really giving it to him. Minshew Mania, though, showing that he still has some wheels, 3 for 33. And then taking a look at our receiving game, Trey Tucker, 8 for 63. Uzama, 6 catches, but those were like all in the first half, I feel like. But Jacoby Myers, 3 for 99 and a touchdown. That is what you like to see. Devontae Adams also had a touchdown as well. And we get a look at uh, things defensively here. It was not a lot of tackles. DeCamrian Richardson had the most. We had some TFLs in there. Tyree Wilson had one. I guess we just had one. And that was also, I could have swore we had more in the run game, but whatever. He also had the sack as well. And obviously no picks for us, but one for Jadeveon Clowney randomly and also Josie Jewell. But stats aside, the only stat that matters is we now have two wins in the win column to only one loss in the loss column. And Marcus Epps gets an upgrade for doing presumably nothing. Can't remember uh, calling his name. We're going to go zone, even though the run support would, you know, continue to get him more in that scheme fit. I want our DBs to be able to play coverage. He's a free safety. The one thing that you should be good at. Yeah, hybrid roles coming up to stop the run. I get it. Exotic blitzes and stuff like that. But if you're a free safety, the one thing that you should be able to do is play zone coverage. Like that is your that is your prime focus number one. And we should have uh, Brock Bowers going to be two more weeks without him. Amari Bernie, two more weeks without him. But we got a new middle linebacker now. And then Michael Mayer still out for five weeks after we make the advancement. So still going to be down some tight ends here for a little while. But we're playing through it. And uh, we do get a much needed victory. Now we play Cleveland, the Cleveland Browns next week. Cleveland Browns looked god awful on Sunday with Deshaun Watson, but this is Madden, so I'm sure that they have a stacked roster. Nick Chubb, I don't think I did. I can't remember if I did pre existing injuries or not, but even so, Nick Chubb could be back by week four. And then we take on Denver, which hopefully would be an easy win. And uh, we move up to fourth seeding in the AFC, obviously still early on, but still, we are two and one and off to a pretty good start. So, that is going to do it for me tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.